All right, you guys, it is the beginning of the month. It's August right now, and you know what that means. It's time to go over all the Jordan releases set to drop this month. So if you guys didn't know by now, my name is DJ, <laughs> and this is the DNA Show. Hey! I need you guys to introduce Snipe right here. You go ahead and tell him yourself what What's you got going on. Right, man? It's your boy Snipe. So we're in Atlanta right now in my studio, and I'm excited to do this video because there's a lot of drops on this list I'm excited about. You guys wanna check me out, man, Sniper Jones. Um, everything, but I'm excited, but let's get to yeah. it. Yeah, so I'm gonna tag your stuff down below in the description as well for you guys. We're gonna go ahead and get started with the first sneaker. We have the Air Jordan 1 KO Syracuse. Let me know what you think about this shoe. Nah, these are hard. Like, orange is my favorite color. It kind of remind me of like the, the basic college color block of the Nike Dunk, right? So I like it a lot. And I like the uh, AJ KOs too. I got like the Chicago colorway. So okay, saying. so I personally hate orange. What? <laughs> but yeah. it's my favorite color. It's like rare that I rock anything with orange. A lot of my people know that. I'm an Oregon Ducks guy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So go Ducks, okay. you know, yellow and green. So for me, I respect the K uh, AJKO. I love that they're bringing them back yep. and they're giving that OG cut because they did a really good job with that. Yeah. But I think when it comes to this release, it's going to be a pass for me. What? But I think people are going to enjoy this shoe. I like it a lot, bro. And um, if you ask me, like, you know, I like a lot of the AJKOs. I know um, they dropped, uh, oh, like the royal blue colorway mm -hmm. as well. I like this more than that one. Okay, okay. I'm not mad at it. You know, I get it. I understand. That's the best part about being a sneakerhead, too. Buy what you like, and you can like different things, and it's okay. You don't have to discriminate on somebody because they like a different shoe. Now, taking it to the next shoe, we have the Air Jordan 5 Concord. Concord. I feel like they're just using that name a little loosely. You know what I'm saying? That's nice. what I thought about. When I, that was the first thing that came to my mind. What do you think about these? So I actually like the Air Jordan 5 Concord. Mm -hmm. I did an early video if you guys want to check it out. But mainly, one of the things I liked about it is just like the regular color blocking that mm -hmm. we got from like the Fire Red 5 mm -hmm. on here. It's clean, all white. You know, some people think that they need to do a lot. In my opinion, I always go with less is more. And it's just a really clean sneaker in my opinion. I think it's a really dope shoe. Yeah. Um, I'm glad they didn't put Nike Air on the back. Yeah, me too. Because, you know, that's just some very another touchy thing. But like you said, clean model. I'm interested to see how it goes. This could potentially be one of those sneakers you might see go to outlets. I, I can feel, see that. I feel like that might be one. If the green bean fives are kind of yeah. sitting in that same kind of range, I, I would put this shoe in that category. So when it comes to the KOs and the Concords, I feel like they should yeah. be an easy cop if you want to grab the sneakers. Retail is probably around 200 bucks, I'm assuming maybe a little bit more yeah. now with the higher in, uh, increase in prices but yeah i think overall it's a dope shoe i would like to go after this sneaker uh probably would only buy it for retail or maybe wait on it and sure. try to find it for a lower price i will say though like the air jordan 5 alone like the silhouette isn't as popular as it once was in like in this day and time oh for sure so i, I wouldn't be surprised to hit outlets not because it's not a cool shoe i just don't think that the silhouette is really in high demand if it's not a one or a four nobody really cares right, right and now. everybody number one complaint i see from a lot of people is the jordan 5 is too bulky like, they talk about the ankle it. and the tongue and everything and i'm like Bro, what? Like, yeah. I love the five. There's, I can name 10 colorways that are just nice. fire. Like, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like the five, but I ain't gonna lie. All right, next up on August 9th, we have the Air Jordan 1 Low mm. Blue Heel. It's not bad. What do you think about these? So, um, if it's not Air Jordan 1, high, it gotta be a low for me. Okay. I hate to be like everybody no else, but I'm not a nigga. <laughs> it's certain ones that's cool, but, uh, this one is kind of cool. I wouldn't buy it, me personally. It's not my steez. I do like, you know, the colorway they decided to do with, like, you know, the back half being the blue and, mm -hmm. and, and, and the front half being like this. Is that a silver or a gray? Or? Uh, it's probably like a gray, okay. gray and white. It's cool. Pass for me. It looked like it's supposed to be like a GS mm -hmm. shoe to me, like a gray. Yeah, no, I think, uh, I'm, man, they make like all the toe colorways yeah. when they got the greens and the reds and the blues and all the different things. So I think this kind of falls in that category. It's going to be a pretty easy cop for a lot of people if they want to grab it for retail. I personally it? like the OG cut more okay. than the retro. It's kind of giving me that like puffy, almost like the fat ones, yeah. but not like, I do have regular retro one low. So for me personally, it's going to be a pass. Again, yeah. I have almost a hundred pairs of Jordan ones alone. That's a flex. So I, little, little I, have to, flex. I have to be selective when it comes to purchasing this amount of sneakers. No, definitely. Yep. See, they said the same thing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also, on the ninth, we have the Air Jordan 1 Mid. <laughs> Come on, man. This is a stitch. Now, this is called the Mid Stitch. Is this a GS colorway? It looks like it's, it might be a, let's click on it. And it looks kind of childish, though. I, I can see it being a GS colorway. Probably. 120 bucks. I think this is, oh, yeah, GS style code. Okay. okay. So, for a kid's colorway, what do you think about these? For a kid's colorway, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, especially, like, I'm not really into, like, um, you know, Judging kids if they're wearing mids or high cut. You can't be doing that, bro. If you want, if you're a grown man judging kids if they wearing mid cut or high cut, that's a shame. It's a problem. So for 120 bucks for a kid's shoe, I think it's safe. I think it's pretty cool. 
Uh, I, I would, you know. It's, it's, I can see a pair, I can see a kid yeah. walking in the mall, seeing the colors and everything. Yeah, for sure. Like, oh, this is dope. You like, can't judge a kid. You can't not get it for him. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? I understand that. Next up, we got the 37s. Mm. Uh, is this the, this not the first 37 to come out? Is it? I don't believe it is. Because, am I, was the, did they do a black and white colorway already? I'm not sure. So I was thinking about that because yeah. either way, the seven, you know, the Air Jordan Seven. So it makes sense why they would do the yeah. Hair 37s. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like. Separate the eras. I get it. You guys are playing off of nostalgia. It's like either quit with the numbers or don't give us the OG color. So you know you, what I'm saying? So like, you don't like the fact that they attach hair to this release. You know what I'm saying? You're right with it's it. just Same kinda, like you don't like the way they attach the Concord to the five. You know what I'm saying? Feel, like, you. I'm just off of that nostalgia from the old time. And I get it where they're bringing that nostalgia back Yo. to it and everything and where they're telling that story. But for me, this just looks like a hoop shoe. I know you're heavy into basketball. What do you think about this for a hoop shoe? So this would definitely, all right, Jordan Brand, I love y'all the most. I really don't often hoop in uh, you know the Jordan brand basketball specific sneakers. Mm -hmm. However, this one looks amazing. It can look like I got some padding on the ankle. Look like uh -huh. I got like a uh, very light um, right there on the forefront of the shoe. And I don't have no problem with them actually you know reiterating the hair because this is a hair colorway. Yeah. So if they want to use a popular silhouette or a popular shoe to kind of gain some traction to a sneaker that's really not that driving, mm -hmm. I can see that in business, but. I, I can see me hooping these for sure. I can go for a quick, you know, 20, 23. Okay, so it's yeah. a cop. Yeah. I, <laughs> the problem is though, bro, like just like bronze for a hoop shoe, when yeah. you compare, like these retail prices for a basketball sneaker is sometimes kind of crazy. When yeah. you get a Kyrie or a Lamelo for 100 Everybody's bucks. rocking with the Mellows right now. The Mellow, yeah. I got a closet full of them downstairs. I'm gonna show you, bro. Okay, like, okay. You can get them for 100 bucks. And I'm pretty sure this is probably gonna be retailing for like 190 something. Probably, that makes sense. That's insane. I feel that, I feel that. Okay, next up we have the known as the Travis Scott. <laughs> <laughs> we already knew it was coming. See, I didn't even have to say it. You yeah, got the bro. Canyon Purple Air Jordan Four. Yeah, bro. Um, these look like the what I call them, like the terrible Barneys. Yep. Um, I want to see them in person to make my full judgment of the sneaker. But as of right now, it is not a cop. Okay. I think uh, I know there's a lot of hype around the Jordan Fours. Yeah. I would like to grab the shoe and understand if I want to. You know, I'll tell a lot of people. You know, just yeah. grab the shoe and then make your decision. Cause then you don't want to make the decision later right. and then you got to spend the money. Cause the hard part right? is grabbing the shoe majority of the time. Right, so if you got the opportunity to grab the shoe and make your decision, cool. And then if you want to bless somebody and hook them yep. up, cause I always recommend that first. But you know, if you want to flip them and make a couple bucks, yeah. I don't know what they're going to be selling for, but I'm assuming there's going to be some hype and a little bit of demand behind this definitely, shoe. Definitely, definitely will be. Unlike you, I'm probably going to be grabbing two of them things <laughs> uh, because I love the colorway and I'm probably never going to be able to buy or I probably never will voluntarily buy that Travis Scott that they kind of mimic so that right. probably like be my closest thing to it well jordan brand's good at that like yeah. they give you like the crazy shoe and then they give you like the other version yeah like they came up with the travis and then they came up yeah. with the mocha you know what i'm saying so that's just something that they're naturally good at when it comes to those things let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section about all these shoes as, as well i'll have all the details and the release information the retail prices and all the dates and everything that you guys need to see uh in the description of the video now taking it to one of the shoes i have been definitely heavily anticipating and did you see they're bringing back the hair seven or the uh, Cardinal 7s. I did see that. Oh, yeah. so happy about yeah. that. So the Citrus Air Jordan 7s, I remember rocking these in high school. Man. So much just memories when it comes to this sneaker. I'm excited about these. You did a review on them? I did. Um, what do you think about them? I was surprised, uh, like the new take they did. So it still got like that Citrus pop, right? They still kept the stitching, they still kept the cut. The only difference was the newer pairs look a little bit more ashy. But in my opinion, it's not hmm. that bad to me. Um, I like them. Uh, Citrus 7 is one of those 7s that I came accustomed to love and it's one of my favorites. So I'm actually looking very forward to getting my pair. That's my good. Pair. And the retail, I'm assuming is like 190 bucks on these. I think it was either is 190 one, or two. Two, two, ten. Yeah. It's, all, it's always kind of varying around those things, prices. Bro, it's just getting ridiculous yeah. at this point. Uh, August 16th, another one. Highly anticipated. So yeah. we saw this in the lower cut version. Yep. And then now we're seeing the high version, yeah. the Air Jordan 14 Ginger. Bruh. This right here, I think is just gonna be a highly, I think the people that appreciate the shoe are gonna definitely be going Same. after it. But a, the majority of people, of so-called sneakerheads, yep. are gonna be like sleeping on this shoe. Yeah, so I posted a reel on these today because I did a review on these and majority of the comments were saying trash. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. I so can see that. Originally can released see that. in 1999, I thought we'd probably never get these joints again. Here they is like a higher cut, you know what I'm saying, kind of tailor-made to us, and I actually loved it. I love the colorway. Bruh. Not too many, not too, not too often you don't get a colorway like this from Jordan brand. 
Um, I think it's solid, bro. I like the, I mean, the 14 as a whole, you know how it go. Yeah. No, you, I, think, I think when you go over 11, people get iffy. Even with 12s and no, 13, 14, over 11, people get a little iffy. So, you know what I mean. And speaking of that, we got some Jordan 12s right here. Yep. The Stealth 12s. Uh, I'm interested to see what the materials look like these yeah. uh, in hand. Solid colorway. And I understand, you know, why the whole hood is going to want to cop these. Definitely. For sure. The hood, White hood lace 12s, bro. bro. I don't know what it is. I don't know. When, when just, them black and gold 12s came out. Bruh. The whole hood. That's why my heart is still sitting in the box every waiting. Every hood had them 12s on, bro. That is just, yeah, we got to wait for that that time to pull gotcha. those out. But I'm interested to see what you guys think about the Air Jordan 12 stuff down below in the comment section. I know there's a lot of hype. And I was just talking to somebody yep. about it the other day. The white outsole. Yep. It sucks. It does. I hate it, but I love the playoff 12s and different stuff like that. Yeah. But it just gets dirty so quick, and you always want to make sure that the shoe is clean and fresh and all that stuff, and you get the dirt rolling up on the midsole or and you know around the toe area yeah. or in the back end on the heel, and you're like, ah, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. just that feeling. But the Jordan 12 looks so good with yeah. the white outsole. No, facts. I, I like this shoe a lot. This is like a prime example, just like clean, uh, very chill for my guys that like recyclable shoes, mm -hmm. which is shoes that you can rock with different looks, different fits. You really can't go wrong with this. For sure. Now, one thing I do want to say is by Jordan Brand throw some white laces on that. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Because it, it pops the, the uh, upper from the midsole of the sneaker, mm -hmm. which definitely, you know, gives it a little flair. So I like the shoe. Okay, so the next one is the French Blue 13s. Talk to me. These look kind of like some PEs. Low key, bro. You know I, I, I could have seen Rip Hamilton rocking these in Detroit. Exactly. So because of that, I think older heads, they're mm -hmm. going to enjoy this sneaker. I think newer heads, typically with all Jordan 13s, yeah. They come out, they're kind of sitting. The yep. white and yellow ones, yep. remember those recently came out, yep. the other different colors? You see them come out two, three years later, the shoe's $350, nice. 400 bucks, whatever it is. And you're like, oh, that was a basic colorway that nobody wanted. Mm -hmm. I think this is gonna fall into that same category. We saw it with the black and purple and they did yep. the reverse versions and all the different stuff. So I think these are gonna kind of fall into that. If you like the shoe, grab it. You're gonna have a good chance of getting the shoe right now. And then the price will go up, you know, a year, two, probably two or three years from yeah. now, you'll see that kind of doubling in price. But as of right now, I think it's gonna be a cop for a lot of people. Me personally, I'm gonna pass on the shoe. Yep. I think maybe on the 12s I might keep, but uh, for the 13s I'm gonna pass. You wanna cop those? You can see yeah, yourself wearing I, I think, them? I think I'm gonna pass on the 13s too, but I think you can still appreciate the shoe yeah. without buying it. Exactly. I appreciate it. I think it's fire. Um, I like the fact that they decided to add uh, an aesthetic to make it feel like, you know, it's more higher end, like a PE. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's clean. Uh, I even like the gray on the toe caps. I think that's pretty fire, but yeah. I don't think I'll, I'll probably pick it up. Yeah, I, like it I feel it. I feel it. Okay, next up, we got the Dark Iris Air Jordan 3. Yeah. Now, these, I think, are immediate cop. I know yeah. a lot of people are saying, like, oh, it's getting played out, but I think when it comes to the simple color blocking like yeah. this, like, you can literally make the entire rainbow. Facts. I've said that with all the different models. With the Jordan 4, like, they did the metallic pack, right, and they did, like, four different colorways or something. Mm -hmm. They could have done the entire rainbow of those. Mm -hmm. They could do the entire rainbow of, like, a lot of these basic model colorways and do something dope with it. And then I love the purple for me. Yep. So it's definitely a cop for sure. No, I like these. I got a chance to review these as well. And these were probably by far like one of the most impressive I've seen in hand. Uh, one of the things I like the most that you can't really see in the photo is the Jordan Jumpman is kind of, um, it's kind of like, outlined in the iris purple and it really makes the tongue pop. Mm. Small thing, subtle. So, so it's, like when it's you like the uh, shorts, it's fire. What's the, what's the Jordan 3s that just came out? The black pair with the purple. Well, I can't think of the name of them. Oh, I can't it was like a European release or something. I'm trying to remember. Well, I can't know. I, oh, I can't I, think of the name I, of it. I don't, I don't know no European. I can't even remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know no European, man. All right. Oh my. Mm. Should we even talk about well, these? <laughs> we got to. We got to. They're they on the list. Okay. Yeah. Beppy's Beauty Supply Air Jordan 7 SP. Uh, definitely a drop. Yep. Uh, I think we should buy pairs from the store just to go yeah. burn them. No. <laughs> uh, I would like to hear the storyline behind it. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a collaboration, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, just like the... Uh, the bacon, the Air Max bacon. Mm -hmm. When I went on Nike sneakers app and I seen like the storyline behind the conception of the shoe, I wanted to buy it. Right. Before that, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. My interest wasn't that high. If this storyline makes sense, not saying I pick it up. I might sell you just because but, of that. But yeah, I might be more intrigued on like what is this about because I don't I don't know what I'm looking at. Today. I think well, Jordan and Nike alone are huge on storytelling. Yep. They do the best when it comes to that stuff. Yep. So uh, I think it's now how can they relay the message well enough to the audience and how can they do because sometimes 
you have to do too much digging yep. to get to that point, right? So they have to find a way to do a better job with that one little paragraph blurb yep. that they put on the post on the sneakers app or yeah. something like that uh, to tell that story a little bit better. Maybe do a special on the shoe like they do on sneakers That'd app. That'd be fine. That'll kind of give you a better understanding. So for me, definitely a pass. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section for this shoe. Definitely can't do it. We got a low OG, so I like low OGs. Okay. But when it comes to this colorway, I'm gonna pass on this one too. Yeah. It's like a deconstructed kind of vibe all throughout the upper on the shoe. Um, let's look at the materials a little bit. It almost looks like a Gore-Tex kind of, like on the toe It had exposed everything. foam on it. On yeah, but it's got like the exposed foam. Everything's kind of deconstructed throughout the entire upper. So what do you think about these? So I kind of want to say that I appreciate Jordan Brand trying to give us something different because often what we see with like a lot of Jordan Brand releases is we're tired of seeing the same thing. Right. So when they decide to do something different, I don't want to complain and tell them go back to their old ways because mm -hmm. I appreciate. But I don't think these are for me, honestly. It's a lot going on and I like more like well put together shoes. I just don't feel like this one. Oh, I like <laughs> so my thought is, like you said, doing something different, yeah. but I see they're not doing anything different because this is that same off white aspect. It is. The collar and all this stuff. And then just like we see the commonalities and trends of materials, right? Yeah. So for example, for like AMA, when they do the inside of the sock liners yeah. and they got that all embroidered yeah. kind of quilted vibe, yeah. and you're seeing that kind of transcend to other brands and different things. Remember uh, Kanye West and he did the off, uh, all red, red Octobers. Yeah. And then every single brand yeah, was doing an all red type sneaker, yeah, right? The global game, so sixes, you see the red. deconstructed yeah. versions of all these different sneakers, but it's like, are they really doing something different or did they take advantage of a trend that's still going on? And this is kind of the tail end of that trend them showing us. Well, I say it's know? different is because like they took, they took it to the extreme. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like this is an extremely deconstructed, like with a Virgil piece is like you have certain pieces like the heel or mm -hmm. you have certain pieces deconstructed. This entire shoe looks like, right. like you can probably take this off and rip and reattach it. Like, <laughs> or something like that. Like, it's extreme. I feel that, I feel that. Let me know what y'all think about those down below in the comment section as well. Oh, we got back to them purple fours. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's another one. Mm. So we got the stealth ones. Now, everybody was hating on the white and red pair. Yep. But are they going to do the same thing with this pair? Not sure. I don't think so. These are hard. This has too much white and all the other stuff. They, they won't. But I'm like, hard. are people going to turn these into shadows Man. and paint them and do the customization? And we're going to see that whole thing again and all that stuff. Will. Like, I'm not really a big fan of all that, but again, do what you want to do with your sneakers. I don't know. I think for me, it is a cop. I understand yep. the sneaker. I grabbed the white and red pair too. It was the so Heritage now, Homage. What is the Heritage, heritage. ones? So, Mark my words. The Heritage will go up. Oh, yeah. They will go up. I think up. they will too. I walked right into my store. Easy cop. Two, like a month, not even a month, maybe two weeks ago. And just so We probably could go find somewhere right now and get them. Guaranteed. <laughs> Guaranteed. So, yeah, for me, I think it's going to be a, a relatively easy cop. They yeah. might be sitting. But I think in time it could go up. But I'm interested to see how the just the crowd reacts to both shoes side by side and the difference between you know the red and white or the gray and white and how people kind of feel about those two models uh, when it comes to that. I think this is the last. We got two more models left right here. So okay, the my Lucas, boy. It's my boy right there. Okay, oh yeah, you you like Luca? Yeah, I rock a Luca, man. Okay, he tell likes. us about this shoe right here. Well, so we got the uh, Luca Air Jordan 36 uh, Matador, right? Yeah, and. Uh, I can see the Matador theme in the sneaker, not gonna lie. Definitely. I have not gotten the chance to wear the Air Jordan 36 to play in, but I did hear good things about it. So shout out to the people who told me uh, about it. I'm not sure if I would cop this colorway, but I am a fan of the silhouette. Blue okay. I think the silhouette is fire. As far as the colorway, I don't think so. They did sell a theme though. They did great with the theme. I think, I think it's like, I think, it's probably like heavily embroidered on the upper yep. and the details are going to be like super nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the box is going to be nice too. I bet you the box, the whole pack. Yeah, like the Jordan 23, like yeah. the detailing on the stitching and yeah. all the stuff on the side. Like I think when it comes to that type of stuff, yeah. it's going to be a really, really nice shoe. I think it's now mixing the between a collector and somebody who wants to hoop in the sneaker right, and right. Then somebody who's willing to buy a Jordan 36. It kind of makes it hard in that realm of like the newer models definitely. and then, you know, relating to the sneaker head community that want the lower numbers and those type of things. So yeah. if imagine they did this on an Air Jordan 6 instead of a 36. Yep. 
all white, kind of like the Chinese with the black and gold I'm when they did honest, that. I don't think that'll probably look right either, though. Yeah, it might be, but I think of the black and gold uh, Chinese, was the Chinese New Year's? Yeah, the Chinese New Year joints. That's what so we're that's kind of yeah, something yeah, that I'll relate to uh, when it comes to those two shoes. Yeah. I'm interested, I'm just interested to see how people think about these. I like it, I think I feel like they're gonna do a really good job yeah. when it comes to quality craftsmanship, but when the whole collector aspect, I don't think it's worth collecting Same. and it's like do you want to pay the price like you said to rock it that's at always the basketball defense. court so i think that's why like like when it comes to jordan brand team jordan um the reason why you don't see it as often as other sneakers is it has a lot to do with that that price point that retail price point mm -hmm. it's a lot i'm not gonna lie it's a lot. <laughs> okay we're on to the last shoe right here and we have the hyper royal air jordan 12s so again what what do you think about oh, yeah, these? What do you think about that. these? Got Again, it's got the all white outsole. I feel like it probably would have looked better if it was like blue or black. Uh, and if they, I don't know. I feel like they should have just kind. Of, did they already do? Oh, they already did a pair with the no, black blue and blue. Black. Yeah, they, yeah they already did that. Or I guess they had to switch it up a little bit. You can only do so much when it comes to twelves. You got just like a few panels and you can switch the colors. Besides that, you don't got too many options. So for me, it's a pass for sure. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think about them? This is like a piece of trident layers or something like that, bro. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's a lot going on. Um, like you said, it's only so many takes you can put on it, but it's just like, ha, ah, man. This, this I like the Air Jordan 12. This one's a little hard to digest. I'm not going to lie. Um, I don't think that the white rubber outer sole meshes well at all with the hyper royal blue right. or the black. It just doesn't mesh well for me. If it was, like if it was blue or black, it would be a lot changes. better. If they would have made it the same blue or even black, yeah, it would have been fine. Even even the pair that was that you was referring to that had the black outer sole, it was still a different color blue. So mm -hmm. I mean, even they want to swap it like that, we, we've seen them change like the hue of colors before. But and it's funny because remember I was talking about you can make the whole rainbow. I actually took a picture of like a bunch of PEs lined yeah. up of the rainbow colors yeah. of like all these different white and then the different colors from yeah. the rainbow. Uh, I'll, it's probably on my Instagram somewhere. I'll pop it up on the screen. But it's the same thing with the black versions. I think you can kind of do that home and away vibe Definitely. and just have the black with the blue black with the purple black with the yellow black with the green all yep. the different stuff uh but this one in particular yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't do this one not the three layers this though. one's gonna be a pass it looks like there's a lot of passes for us this month yeah it is but it's also some good ones though yeah. it's something i'm looking forward to too but yeah it's a lot it's a lot we pass i think realistically i think in the comment sections we're gonna see a lot of people saying because you always hear there's gonna be a lot of bricks yep. and there's a lot of trash this yep. month and all that stuff I get hearing all those things, but I think there's gonna be a lot of sleepers this month. I definitely. Think definitely some shoes that you can cop with ease. You don't have to worry about it. You might be able to even get it for lower if you wait on it. So I think it should be a good month, a good relaxing month. You know, we gotta finish off the year, have to spend a lot of money with all these releases. So I think August is a pretty chill month overall. Yeah. And, and, and months like this is cool for me because I get to save more bread on sneakers that, you know, came out. And then you can use that to a grail that you want, right? So right. if you pass up on three, four sneakers that was 220, now you got enough to buy that pair, you know? So no, that, for real. it still helps. Definitely. So that's going to do it at the end of at the beginning of every single month. You know what we do. We like to come in and recap and give you guys all the updates on what's going on uh, for the month and everything to cop. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Shout out all your stuff so they can see you. And I'll make sure I pin it in the description in the comment section as well. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me, bro. This was fun. No, you're having me. Huh? But, no, but like, <laughs> we have, I can't say what I'm about to say. Gonna, but no, man, uh, man, Sniper Jones, Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube. Man, thank you all for tuning in. My boy DNA. All right, y'all. We out. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry. If you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside.